everybody. We're back in our kitchen today, and we have a special guest, Ted, Cormac's lobster lid partner and our friend. Hi. You've seen him in one of the trailer build videos. He's also really good at electric, doing electrical stuff, and he's awesome. So we're going to be doing a vegan lasagna, which has a few different elements, but we'll do them one by one, and we'll do it together. Let's get started. The first element we're going to make for this lasagna is a protein-rich marinara sauce. So Ted's going to chop some garlic here. We have about 10 cloves of garlic and I'm going to be chopping 60 grams of sun-dried tomatoes and two hot red chili peppers. So depending on how hot you like your sauce to be, discard or keep the seeds inside. So this is one of the few recipes Ted has not tried at our house yet. That's right. <laughs> Surprisingly. I've uh, been very honored to be able to try a lot of Mo's cooking. And I have to say, really, her food is really unique. Obviously, you know, I, I'm, you know, I eat meat and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm always like a little bit skeptical of vegan food. But uh, when I tried Mo's food for the first time, I was absolutely shocked with what she could do with with her ingredients. So, um, oh, thanks, really, man. check out all of her videos on YouTube. Really, I think you should try out her recipes, and I think you'll equally be able to enjoy. The, uh, the amazing food experiences that I've been able to have the honor of experiencing. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. While they're working, then I'm trying recipes and they're kind of my little guinea pigs to try stuff out, so it's been really nice to have your, your feedback um, on stuff, so it's been, yeah, it's always fun to have you over. I'm, I'm, I love being over and I love being the guinea pig of your food, Mo. <laughs> I'm more than happy to be that for you. Yeah. <laughs> Ted is finishing chopping the garlic. I'm just gonna turn on the pot here. So I'm gonna turn it on medium. Are you saying I'm a slow poke? No, 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 I didn't mean to. No, 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 I'm just gonna turn it on. Let me just insert the choking. Oh boy, it's only a knife. No, chopping garlic is like, I may have I may have roped Ted into chopping the garlic because I don't like chopping garlic. I enjoy challenges. This is the recipe with the most garlic. That looks awesome, Ted. That's a lot of garlic. Thank you, Mo. Did a great job. Beautiful. I tried my best. One of the other fun things about this recipe is that we use wine. But I don't drink wine, but I will cook with it. This is the only time you'll see me doing this, because I don't drink. You look like an Italian woman. Right. You need to take a sip of it first, though. Measure out 200 milliliters of red wine, which is just under one cup. First things first, if you have a fan, turn that on. You will see why in a moment. Add your chopped garlic and chili peppers to the heated pan and cook for a minute while giving them a good stir. So one of the interesting things about your cooking style, Mo, is you don't use oil in your cooking. here will deglaze the pan which is important when cooking without oil. It incorporates the caramelized bits that end up on the bottom of the pan into the whole mixture adding to the overall flavor of the dish. So stir well as the mixture cooks down for a few minutes. <coughs> you alright? <coughs> I think I hear all the alcohol. <laughs> Chili peppers definitely in the alcohol. Invigorating. It's a good mix. It's great. All right, this has been cooking down for just a little bit. We're gonna add in all the rest of our ingredients and just let them kind of simmer together. So, Ted, you wanna grab the diced tomatoes? Yeah. <coughs> we'll stick those in. How many diced tomatoes do we use here? Uh, so we're just using two cans of diced tomatoes. These are the two cans. Fifteen ounce cans. Like the bird? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wait, 
Oh, yeah. well, right, that <coughs> You'll also add in two cans of tomato paste, 60 grams of chopped sun-dried tomatoes, two teaspoons of dried thyme, about eight bay leaves, two teaspoons of salt, black pepper to taste, and four tablespoons of maple syrup. Uh-oh, it's falling, it's going to the table, the maple syrup, it's coming, lift up the thing, what? lift it up. What? Close. Where do you want this uh, potentially um, sticky? Yeah, you can just set it in that bowl. And then you're going to add in. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll also need um, either two cans of lentils or I have just some cooked lentils here that I did earlier. It's just a cup and a half of dry lentils. Um, I'm not sure how much that is, if it's exactly two cans, but we're gonna go for it because I like lentils. Uh, maybe one will do all of it. However much you like. <laughs> I'm losing it. So about two cans worth, however much that is. I kind of just eyed it, but um, it wasn't quite all of what I cooked. Stir thoroughly to combine all the ingredients and simmer for about five minutes. Taste your sauce before moving on and adjust any seasonings. Wow. That's great. Do you need anything else? I think it's good. Salt it's pretty densely packed with flavor. I think it's good as, good as it is. Oh, Gormac wants a taste. I will get Here we're just transferring our sauce to a different pot as we'll need that large pot for cooking our lasagna noodles later. We've set aside our sauce and we're going to move on to our cashew cheese now. Just <laughs> <laughs> do an acoustical clearance of my throat. Because <clears throat> uh, those are really some red hot chili peppers. Yes, they were. We're still coughing. We're dying. Yeah. <laughs> so we set aside our sauce and we're going to move on to our cashew cheese now. If you guys want a more in-depth version of it, I have two other videos that use it. The chickpea chicken salad video and the pizza recipe video. So we're just going to put it together quickly since I have some other videos on it. should come out smooth and creamy. Now transfer the cheese to a jar that you'll be able to easily pour out of when the lasagna is being assembled. So before we make the ricotta, we're going to boil the water so that we can make the lasagna noodles. So we're uh, to our final element for this lasagna and that is the ricotta cheese. So the first thing we're going to do is just open up our package of tofu. You can either use firm or extra firm. And we're just going to drain out the water that's in there, but I'm not going to press it because I do want the ricotta to be a little bit more moist. We don't want it super dry. Now into a food processor, add in one cup of raw cashews. Next, we're also going to add in two cloves of garlic. I have four there because they're kind of small and I like garlic. so. It's really to taste, but two large cloves of garlic or four small ones. You'll also need a teaspoon of salt, along with a teaspoon of white miso paste, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. You're going to process this until you have a fine, crumbly texture. Once you've ground up your cashews and the dry ingredients, um, we're gonna add in our tofu. So. Ted, you want to just cut that in like four slices and then put that in, like four chunks. All right, we'll put this in. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, I'm going to be putting in quite a bit of basil to this. You can be, you can <laughs> like, get out of here. Fired! 
Alright. <laughs> yeah, I told you she could be mean. <laughs> I'm going to be using some basil in this ricotta. So we're going to need basically two cups of greens. Um, if you like basil, you can add as much as you'd like and then substitute you know, spinach or arugula or something. I love basil, so I'm just going to do all basil. I've already washed and rinsed it and taken it off the stem, so I'm just going to kind of dump it in. Dump it in. Without and by working. two cups, I mean packed cups. But this is not an exact science, so really, you know, find your bliss in the kitchen and and get creative. Alright. That's a lot, That's of, a lot of basil. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna put all of it. <laughs> Pulse this until all of your greens have been incorporated and ground up into the mixture. There you have it. Vegan basil ricotta. Ted, do you want to try some of this? That looks beautiful. Like this? Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my god. I haven't even tried it yet. Just the texture. Oh, great. Usually I have extra stuff. Mmm. Wow. Good? Yeah, that has like a nice creamy texture to it. Transfer the ricotta to a bowl and set aside while you cook your lasagna noodles. To add fiber and more nutrition to this lasagna, here I'm using some whole grain lasagna noodles. You can also use regular noodles or no cook noodles instead for this recipe, but I also prefer the taste and the texture of whole wheat noodles. Our noodles are done cooking, it's pretty hot. I'm going to go dump this out, it's a little bit scary. Rinse your noodles with cold water to stop them from cooking and then put them in a bowl of cold water to prevent them from sticking to each other. Ted, are you ready to assemble? I'm really ready. Would you like to do the small or the small or the large? I just small one. Okay. So you can either use a larger pan or I don't have a larger glass pan that I like, so I just use two small ones. It's actually kind of nice. We have our elements here. We've got our ricotta, we've got our bolognese sauce. Yes. And then we've got our cashew cheese. Add just a little bit of water to your cashew cheese and stir it in to thin it out enough to make it a pourable consistency. So you can see that's a little bit more of a pourable sauce now. So you just want to water it down just a little bit. First thing we're going to do, Ted, is we're going to put a layer of the sauce on. So I'll let you go first, just right in the bottom. And this is really just to prevent the noodles from sticking mm. to the glass. And how thick should this layer be? Um. I just usually eye it. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, enough to kind of like cover the bottom. I'm gonna grab mm -hmm. this one. Um, I hope it didn't put too much. Maybe it is a little bit too much. Too much. <laughs> Sorry. I walked away and kept mm -hmm. adding, I guess. Um, so this is like a multi-layer? Uh, yeah, so this is gonna have quite a few layers, so we don't want it to be too thick, or exactly. else we, we won't be able to get enough layers, especially because that pan's pretty thin. Yep. Or a lot less. So, so I'll put even more back. Okay. Here, I'll kind of show you what... Evie's just chilling outside. You need a wet noodle? We're going to do a layer of noodles, so what I usually do is like, see how much I need. And just... You cannot say wet noodle on camera, but... Wet noodle. Create an even layer of noodles in your pan, cutting them to size and piecing them together as needed. That. Really, I mean, you have to see this in person. I mean, this is just like it's it's fluffy. I mean, it looks just like ricotta. It's and the color, it's really nice. Next, we're just putting on a layer of ricotta over the noodles. Mine is ugly. I am getting so hungry looking at looking at this. Are you serious or are you yes. joking? I'm serious. I want to eat it now. Yours looks great, Mo. Ted's <laughs> is, is improving. We're going on with some more marinara. Let's do Hook it. it up. Now 
Next, drizzle a layer of cashew cheese into your pan. It might take a bit of practice to get the hang of the technique, but it'll taste the same in the end. <laughs> Not a good start. You, gotta, you, gotta, you can't quit. You gotta, you gotta just keep, keep going. moving, yeah. Just keep moving. There you go. There you go. You got this. That's enough. Oh dear. <laughs> You're so rude to Dad. What? He's, have you done this before? No. This is our second layer, right, Ted? Yes. It looks like the technique here is to just pinch it really tightly and then it cleaves in a very nice manner. And then I will take Continue adding layers to your lasagna of the noodles, the ricotta, the marinara, and the cashew cheese sauce until you've reached the top of your pan or are running short on ingredients. Ted has three layers and I will be doing four layers. When you're getting close to finishing your lasagna layers, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you have as many layers as you'd like, just top your last layer of noodles with marinara, and then we're gonna cover this with tin foil and bake it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna uncover it and put the last of the cashew cheese. So try and conserve or reserve about a half a cup of the cashew cheese. All right, now that the oven's preheated, we're gonna put it in the oven. Now we wait. Eager anticipation. Good. Looks great. And now top your lasagna with the remaining cashew cheese. This looks delicious. It's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. Well, it just finished uh, the second round of baking. Let's take a look uh, to see how it turned out. Looks good. Wow. Looks great. So I think we were talking about that we like it browned on the top, so we're actually going to just put it on broil for a few minutes. Um, so we'll close her up, and we'll just watch it really carefully for a couple minutes on broil. And we'll do high. Ooh, look at that nice caramelization action going on. Great job, Mo. I am excited to sink my teeth into this thing. <laughs> Let's do it. This is actually really nice and tall. Oh this is definitely the biggest thing you've made. Looks really good. The uh, noodles seem pretty like nice and still firm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. That is lasagna. That is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I really like the thickness of it. Yeah. The cheese consistency in here is good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lentils are actually almost mimicking hamburger. Like, yeah, I was gonna say that the basil and the ricotta is really coming in nicely here. Mm -hmm. Did it? We did it. <laughs> nice job, Mo. Nice job, Ted. Nice job, Cormac filming. Mm -hmm. This mm. is so good. This, this came a, out great. This is a very legitimate lasagna. Mm. It's it's pretty hardcore. It's like no joke. What do you think about the whole wheat noodles? It's good. Yeah. It has a nice, you know, bite to yeah. it. It's like texture. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. I mean, I couldn't tell that this is, I wouldn't be able to tell if this was vegan if someone just gave this to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I think for continuity's sake, they may, the viewers may be interested to know how, how Ted's how came my, out. How mine came out. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Thank great, you. Great job, Ted. Thank you. Thank you, Cormac. No, I think his is way better than yours. I'm not surprised. Ted knows what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we do. My cashew stuff is really good. So, we should cook together more often, Ted. I would really love that now. Yeah. Squirming never wants to cook with me. <laughs> My stomach is expandable. Yeah. And uh, expands as needed. Well, Ted, you're pretty much like family now. After the many hours you and Cormac spend working on Lobster Lift, I always look forward to us all eating together while sharing stories, sometimes commiserating, and all the laughter we share. It's so wonderful to have you as a friend. Please rate, surprise, subscribe, and comment below. Down below. You know, up there. Give a... And check the other videos. <laughs> <laughs> and ring that bell. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much, Ted, for joining me for this one and helping out. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and we will see you soon. One, two, three. Eat more. <laughs> you guys gotta say uh, it. Oh, what I don't know what it is. What is it? Eat more plants. Eat more plants.